I'm familiar with this piece. Yeah. This piece is called Hemorrhage, and, and it's the bleeding, and I got the hand clutching over the heart. <laughs> I knew Tanya was an art lover because she'd often commented on the artwork of our Sepultura covers. So I brought her here to meet the man that produced the artwork for the Sepultura record, Roarback, Cleveland's very own Mr. Derek Hess. Hey, man, good to see you. Derek and Derek. Derek and Derek. Nice to see you. This is Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Nice to, nice to meet you. I've been a fan of Derek's artwork for a long time. I immediately recognized the paintings around the gallery, including Hemorrhage and Burnt Out. I had these pieces on my bedroom wall as a teenager. What a trip. It was such a treat to see his famous optical illusions called Force Perspective. These inspired the name of his 2016 documentary. His introduction to the music scene began by booking bands at Cleveland's Euclid Tavern and has since designed artwork for several iconic bands including Deftones, The Offspring, Iggy Pop, No Effects, Pantera, Pearl Jam, and of course, Sepultura. He even held his own show at the Euclid Tavern. Derek is a rock star in his own right. So it's been a while. Uh, since we talked and uh well i think the last time we talked was when i was doing your cd cover your work is so iconic to me because of growing up and going to a lot of shows and seeing the shows at this place called the euclid tavern sure and you were working the door there. i was working the door i was doing lo load in i was making sure the bands got fed and they got the beer i ate them at the end of the night then i had to clean up you did all that. Yeah. And at the same time, were you going to school or? Yeah, I was going to school. I was chopping their chicken wings and I was landscaping. And so eventually one of those things had to go. So school went first. And then eventually uh, landscaping went. You know, the artwork became the, the uh, main income and I was able to start making a living on it in 95. It started with the, the, the flyers and actually, you know, I, I would, I would based the flyers on either the band's name mm -hmm. or what the, the music was about or how the music made me mm -hmm. feel. And I imagine a lot of musicians have mental issues, Derek. They no. might, might, <laughs> might, you might be right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was, I, was, I was tapping into that mm -hmm. with the flyers, which be, eventually became the concert posters, right. which really launched my career. He did a lot of the flyers for shows that were coming to town. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, for me, that clicked in my head. It was like, man, this would be great to have an album cover, um, the artwork for Sepultura. And uh, it was very unique, you know. It's like we always try to have, like, different artwork and different artists, um, very talented. And we've always been very fortunate. But it's great, you know, every time I look at it, it reminds me of, like, my childhood. Yeah. And going to shows and well, things cool. like that. Yeah. Yeah. What are you working on now? Is there any new stuff or what's going on? Well, what's going on now is the new website, you know, um, and it's geared to a little differently than the last website. It's a little bit easier to navigate. And I'm working on a new body of work that, uh, again, is mental health. Uh, mm -hmm. It pertains to mental health issues. Um, possibly some overseas art shows. I've done some before o overseas and it, it goes well, you know, like Germany, they're all, they're way into my artwork. I believe it. You know, or Japan, they, mm -hmm. they don't, <laughs> this shit. <laughs> it's not it's, it's not anime, you know right. what I mean? Right, right. Like, uh, the website's uh, DerekHess.com. So people can go to DerekHess.com and find out not only about your art, but about your work in mental health advocacy. Yes, yes, That's amazing. absolutely. I started researching your story, and this is something that we started talking about on the show because it's so important. We obviously talk about plant-based living and what you fuel your body with, but also mental health mm -hmm. and how important that is to speak about and speak openly about. So I learned that about your story through your art. So mm -hmm. The mental health issue? Well, I'm, I'm dual diagnosed, um, which is uh, a substance abuse, which is alcoholism and being bipolar. And... Uh, Obviously, it's reflected in the artwork, and it was before I even knew I was diagnosed with that. I was making the, producing this art that uh, pertained to those issues. Um, and uh, recently, I've been you know a little bit of an advocate about about the mental health issues, and uh, because a lot of it is uh, not spoken about, and it's it's good uh, to bring it to the surface and making uh, having 
creating a dialogue about it with, with people, you know, obviously who are in the same boat. And uh, that, that's been going fairly well. Um, have a new website and portion of the proceeds of certain prints are going to uh, Mental Health Today and Hope, Hope for the Day, uh, along with other mental health uh, agencies and, and groups. Is that, was that like a kind of a coping mechanism through your art? Oh, definitely. Uh, it was an outlet and uh, I felt really good when I made the piece that really reflected the, my feelings. Mm. I mean, obviously they didn't all hit, hit the mark, but some of them, like the burned out piece, mm. like you mentioned, uh, definitely was, you know, uh, kind of therapeutic. So I know that Cleveland had an impact on a lot of things that I do uh, in my work. I mean, does Cleveland have an impact on your work or your lifestyle? Sure, I think you're a product of your environment, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I came up, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily a blue collar person, you know, being an artist, but it's a blue collar city. And uh, so I think I got some of the, uh, I had the grit, S strong music scene in Cleveland. And uh, that, that also has made an imp impression on my, my work, although I don't draw guitars per se, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I've done artwork that was not geared towards a band or a CD cover, but the bands gravitated to it and, and used it for the, their, their product. You know, and I think that still comes from being you know, involved in, in the, the, the industries here. Let's look at your art. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this piece is called Doing Time, and it's about the death of my dog, Jose. And uh, I was really attached to this animal. Uh, he, he was the best, you know, no leash. But this is after the death, and this is called Doing Time, and uh, I'm just kind of waiting to go meet him. This is uh, lyrics from a Henry Rollins song oh. off of uh, Hot Animal Machine. Uh, I don't remember the name of the song, but uh, it, it definitely was Rollins' lyrics and it was inspired by Rollins. Excellent. Yay. Moving on to <laughs> this one, was, I recognize very much so. Uh, yes, you yeah, you might be familiar with this. Well, this piece is called Chestnut Checkers, and uh, it came from games being played. When it's great, it's on the uh, Sepultura album, Roarback, it's this menacing figure, the pawn, and then the world the political manipulation that goes on, just moving people around, like, that's how. No, I remember that. Yeah. That's how I got the inspiration for it. You know, it's you great. guys telling me what, right. what it was all about. I'm familiar with this piece. Yeah. This is hemorrhage. Yeah, I had this on, on the back of my bedroom door when I was a teenager. Really? It's really badly printed out, I'm very sorry. Well, but, what, you know. what did you think about it? What do you think it was? Like, I always felt a lot of frustration that why doesn't everybody care as much mm -hmm. about these animals? It was a combination of that period in my life where I was getting into heavier music, I was also listening to rap and pop at the same time, but I've actually just gotten into Sepultura. <laughs> I was really, really heavy into animal rights, so mm -hmm. when I found your art, so may maybe it was that what was speaking to me, like nobody understands why I care about, I'm trying to save all these animals, and right. people are just turning their mind And you're trying to stop eye. the bleeding. Yeah, there was something, something to that that makes a lot of sense now, being okay. here, which is was really, really very powerful and emotional. Okay, well, <laughs> I, that, I think that's great, because people pick up on artwork and, and see in the you know, different interpretations. On what it's about. Right. Mm. This was about, for me, <laughs> I got uh, a girlfriend was taking me to the airport to go to Europe to do art shows, and she broke up with me on the way to the airport. So I got this whole time to think about it when I'm over there in Europe. <laughs> this piece is called Hemorrhage, and, and it's the bleeding, and I got the hand clutching over the heart, and you make compressions on you know, wounds to stop the bleeding but I could not stop the bleeding, uh, and so therefore it's hemorrhaging. I love it. This too. Burnt out, right? Burnt out, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What was your inspiration? Well, again, this is a, a relationship piece. Um, and dealing with a lot of bullshit, I became burned out through it, and uh, I got the, the scars on the, on the hands and the arms, and actually this uh, initially was a silk screen, so it was three colors. It was the black, and it was this color red, and then it was this color, burned out color. And uh, I have the head looking down, so the nose helps create the shape of the heart. 
Uh, yeah, the right. symmetry is beautiful. Thank you. This is incredible. Did you publish this? I'm sorry. Self-published. Self-published. Yeah. Okay, good yeah. to know. Um, All the stuff we do, self-published. Publishers weren't interested, so yeah, it'll be screw okay. Them. Yeah, it'll be okay. It's definitely okay. And wow, thank you so much for having us here and these wonderful gifts. This is like oh, well, I mean, definitely, I appreciate the interest. Yeah, thank coming you so in here. Nice to you. Welcome. It's good to see you. Nice to see you, buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Again, really. You're welcome. If any of the mental health issues in this episode are affecting you or a loved one, please find some links to some resources in the comments below. Don't forget, you are loved, you matter, and you rock.